And so, the cow and the princess lived happily ever after. So, what did you think, Mr. Cow? No? Did you not like my scary story? I thought it was rather good. So anyway, who do you think won the competition? Me? Yeah, it was me, I think. What do you mean, no? Anyway, I think it's ought to... to, ought to, to uh, yeah. You know what I mean, Mr. Cow, yeah. It ought to be time to have something to eat, because it's, it's, it's getting rather late, looking up at that moon. And, uh, I don't know, I, I don't particularly want to be around when all the monsters start coming. I've got my bow and my sword, but, yeah. Right, let's cook some pork chops. Let's just wait for them to cook. Bing! There we go. Cooked pork chops. <laughs> Sorry, here you go. You can have some bread. You're welcome. Right, well, uh, thank you for a good night, Mr. Cow. Like I say, I think I won the Scary Ghost Story competition. I did. I did. Yeah. I think we probably ought not to have, to have a repeat of earlier, kind of thing. Um, Mr. Cow, would it be alright if you could perhaps come over and perhaps tell some spooky stories tonight? No. No? Would that be possible? Well then. <laughs> yeah, it's it's getting quite, quite late, so, um... Thank you once again, Mr. Cow for volunteering to come and help. No. No, in no way did I force you at all. No. And yeah, okay, thank you Mr. Cow, and I will see you tomorrow. No. no, 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 don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine in the minecart, you'll be fine in the minecart, just stay there. No. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, no. Good night. Right, no. as you can see, you might not have noticed, but in between episodes, I found some pumpkins. Well, I found a pumpkin, even. And they were just over there, underneath the big mysterious hill. Hmm. Ugh. Anyway. Right, we ought to get back home. And yes, I am recording this for once on the correct day. Despite, like, not Monday, because it is out, it is Minecraft Monday after all, but no, I'm recording this on 31st, Halloween, get out of it, because I'm, oh, thank you for the carrot, right, yeah, I'm recording this on Halloween day, so, I probably shouldn't be playing with the monsters, but, I should probably just run indoors, so if you see a zombie, like, I saw one over there somewhere, wearing a pumpkin on his head, then yeah, that's why. Right. As you can see, I also lit up this area. Yeah, jack-o'-lanterns all the way. And for some random reason, because I didn't know what else to do, I just extended the sugar cane. Um. Oh, I see my cactuses are working. Ouch. I better deal with this dude before. Yep, my cactuses work. Yeah, they're, they're a bit dangerous, but oh well. Evidence. All the monsters are coming out to play. Right. Ooh. Did I, um... No. I was going to have a glass of milk, but I didn't get one. Oh, well, I'll just have to go to bed, milkless. Right. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Ooh. As you close your eyes on Halloween night, make sure you're sleeping really tight. Settle down quickly and do not peep. If it helps, try counting skeletal sheep. For on the hill, unbeknown to man, there is an old castle, tall and grand. It has not been seen by a single soul, cause this castle has secrets to behold. At around midnight, you'll hear a fizz. Then crack goes the lightning, and there it is. A 
tall dark tower looms overhead, and around this wall's part stained blood red. And inside the castle are all sorts of things that you won't want to see, like busy bat wings, and cobwebs and goo and blood galore that smeared all over the mossy stone floor. Through the main door, you'll see a big hall, with hundreds and thousands of doors in the wall. Some up high, and others down low. But are they all used? The answer is no. Look left, then right, and you will spy a staircase leading up to the sky. But follow this down, and you will find a place where the sun has never shined. A dungeon of victims is just to the left, with bodies of people who came to their death. And on the right will be a library, with cobwebs and slimes and spiders not merry. And upstairs is worse! with traps all around, ready to detect the slightest of sounds. At 80 blocks long and 68 wide, you could have had three parties inside, but alas, this was just like the rest of the place, all damp and dusty and such a disgrace. From outside the castle, it's rather small, but on the inside, it is as big as a mole. However, after all this, may I dare say, the worst things yet, by a long way. For up the stairs and along the hall, there is one last door that's scarier than all. On the other side is the living room, and there's a cat, and a hat, and a broom, for this is the home of a woman named Fitch, a.k.a. an evil witch. <laughs> Fitch has a long nose with a wart on the end, and spends all day brewing potions to fend her castle from people who just might attack and attempt to claim the castle back. But do not disturb this nasty old hag, for she has a power that may cause some lag. With a jump and a cry and a lightning bolt, a giant appears with a bad result. Minion zombies come crawling on out, and these will not stop till the giant is out. So get out your sword and be ready for battle. Just charge towards them like a herd of cattle. Slice and chop your way through the horde, killing those brutes with your diamond sword. And when finally you reach the massive one, Take one big swipe, and then it is gone. Then if you hang around, just stay for a while. You may hear a voice say with a snarl, Curse those humans for defeating me! And with the crack of lightning, the castle flees. <laughs> As you close your eyes on Halloween night, Make sure you're sleeping really tight. What? 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 Oh, that was horrible. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, the, the sun's coming up, I see. Oh. Oh, what are you doing at my door, Mr. Zombie? Why have you got a pumpkin on it? Oh, it's Halloween, isn't it? It's still Halloween, I suppose. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of all them. Oh. Oh. I better go up here. Oh, my goodness. That, that was... That was horrible. That was... That, I think that was the story that the cow told me. Oh, I've got to go and admit it. Oh, there he is. There. Oh, oh. Okay, Mr. Cow. You win.
Yeah, well, d d yeah, don't start getting too cocky about it. Come on, yeah, that mm -hmm. sto sto story actually scared me. So, yes, you win. Well done, Mr. Cow. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. Woo! How lucky was that? I really thought that was, it was real. Mm. But it wasn't. Woo! Thank you very much for watching this very special Halloween episode of Minecraft Mondays. Mm. I'm sorry it wasn't actually on the day of Halloween, but <clears throat> yeah, it's it still happened. So yeah, mm. as you can see, we've got my trusted cow still here. Mm. The, um, the bonfire's still going. Mm. Yeah, everything's good. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Oh, by the way, this video was actually yeah. produced with the help of the Bee Lily. Yay! Woo! <clears throat> yeah, for uh, that's uh, that's the only claim I have to this video. The Bee Lily -Lily <clears throat> played me quite a lot of the time, but yeah, that, it it went well. I feel so. Yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Mm.